Stay's actually gonna call Redonda Vought. Ethan called and said that his patient, uh, CM, was in radiology to have a scan and that she needed a medication for anxiety. I went to the AccuDose machine to look for the medication that he said had been ordered for her and I couldn't find it under her listed medications. So I called him back. I was pulling this medication. Um, I didn't think to double check what I thought I had pulled from the machine. Um, I used the override function. I don't recall ever seeing any warnings that showed up on the monitor. Um, if there was a warning on the drawer, it didn't strike me. It, there are a lot of drawers with warnings. It's a critical care area. I walked across the hall to the tube station and at that point, Ethan approached me and he was holding the bag of contents that I had given him earlier. He asked if this was the medication that I had given Miss Murphy and I looked at the bag, or, I'm sorry, CM. I looked at the bag and I confirmed that it was. Um, and that's when he said, it's not for said, it's Becuronium. So I, I asked him to give the bag to our charge nurse now, going back to the medication pool, um, we heard the pharmacist say earlier that there was some warnings uh, and uh, Mr. Stryance entered the, the exhibit with the vial. Do you recall seeing the warning paralytic around the top of the vial? If it was there, I did not acknowledge it. Desensitizing, alarm fatigue, and you get used to certain processes. I'm pretty sure it's a big factor in how a lot of mistakes happen. You get used to a certain thing. You trust what the computer says. You ignore that alarm because you've heard it 10,000 times and it's been you know, false or inappropriate. I, I, I won't ever be the same person. Um, it's really I when I started being a nurse uh, I told myself that I wanted to take care of people the way that I would want my grandmother to be taken care of. I would have never wanted something like this to happen to her or anyone that I loved or anyone that I don't even know.